I'm Blake Showalter of On Target Sports. I'm here with quarterback Paxton DeLaurent. Tough loss tonight, man. What past couple of games has happened, of course, but what can you say about just the momentum change that fourth quarter? It just feels like almost just a game plan change or something like that. Just what's going on there? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Coach Coach Duke said it was on him. Said they got to coach better, figure out how to quit. You know, we've blown three fourth quarter leads in a row, so. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what has to happen. I know the offense, we only scored three points in the fourth quarter. So, obviously, you know, when, when coverage gets tied, they start playing man and adding some to the box. we got to be able to be explosive, so i got to be able to deliver downfield shots better. And the defense, you know, I don't play defense, so I don't want to say anything on them. So, Yes, sir. Uh, and then real quick, I mean, this has been kind of a reoccurring thing now. What have you guys done in practice to try to – make this not happen or what are you guys going to do going forward as far as game plan game plan goes and things of that sort uh you know nutrition wise health wise we tried everything everything the big schools do we tried things for recovery to be at your peak performance second half fourth quarter you know so we don't think it's an energy thing we don't think it's a health thing obviously it's just a game plan thing and learning how to man up and finish a game and we're either struggling and the the will to get it done and make a play when it matters or game plan is not doing a good job. Gotcha. And I know it's tough to look at the bright side of things right now, but Ryan Florino coming back with a cast on his hand, had a pretty big game, definitely made an impact. What can you say about him and just the way he was able to play tonight? Yeah, I mean, he's an NFL receiver, NFL work ethic, great friend, great teammate, great Christian, does everything. Can't say a bad thing about Ryan Florino and for him to come out here and play with the cast and put up good numbers, you know, he's a great player and that's what you expect him to do. I got you, man. And then lastly, just like a message to the fans, Homecoming's coming up this weekend. What do you got to say to them? One and four. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if you guys want to hear anything I got to say, but one and four is homecoming. Come out, enjoy a good time. And if we win six straight, so if we start winning a few games, we still have a chance to win the conference. We control our own destiny with that, with these six games, and we can still make the playoffs. So everything's not over. You don't have to jump ship yet, but I hope you guys just come out and enjoy a game. Enjoy your family. Enjoy people coming there. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. I'm Blake Shoulder on Target Sports. I'm here with Coach Tuke. Another tough game, another tough comeback loss that we suffered here. What do you got to say about the game plan or just the momentum shift in these fourth quarters of late? I mean, it's just tough. We're devastated. We've been trying to figure out, and we came up short again. Um, I do think we're on to some of our problems, and, uh, you know, we got we don't have any time to get it right. Like, at the end of the day, we have no margins. Got conference play, and we got to get going. Gotcha. And – Beginning of the game, halftime, or even the third quarter, our red zone defense was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. In the fourth quarter just felt like it fell apart a little bit. What do you have to say about that? And was the game plan changed? Were they just doing different, something differently on offense? What was going on there? No, I mean, at the end of the day, they threw it a lot more in the fourth quarter, but it's kind of the same calls. You know, uh, we played great in the first half in red zone, and then the second half we, we had a collapse. Like, it, it was uh, not up to our standard and unacceptable. Gotcha. Again, tough game. Tough look at the bright spot right now, but Ryan Flournoy coming back with a cast on his hand, putting together a great game. What do you got to say about him? Yeah, so proud of him, and I can't believe that he had the kind of game he had. I know he wanted to be out there for his teammates, and um, you know, it's pretty impressive what he's been able to do with a broken hand. Gotcha. And then just as far as these last couple practices goes, what's the practice going to look like just to try to get rid of these late losses and these comeback wins that these other teams are getting against us? You know, we're, I think we're on our problems. Like on defense, we're not tackling well, um, and but we improved. I think, uh, you know, we were better tackling this game versus CKU, so we got to take that next step uh, next week. Uh, offensively, got to have a four-man drive where we, you know, be able to get a first down and, and win a football game. Yeah, and then lastly, we got homecoming coming up this weekend. A couple tough losses. How are you guys going to regroup and then just – I don't know, maybe a message to the fans of what they should expect coming up this weekend. Yeah, man, we're coming back home in a sore need of, of a home field advantage, and so it's homecoming. We need how packed, and um, I promise you no one feels worse than our locker room. And so uh, fans, that was not okay, unacceptable, and we're going to do everything we can to try to uh, win a game at homecoming. Gosh, I'm sorry, I know that's the last question, but – I am curious to hear, what do you think about only having four home games this year? How has it affected us? And also a really tough schedule, you know, especially from the jump. Yeah, tough schedule, uh, not being played at home, but it, you know, you don't get to control it, right? I don't get to set the schedule. It is what it is. Um, 
you know, playing tough uh, teams, though, you know, they point out your weaknesses. And so we know where our weaknesses are and we got to go fix them or, you know, it's going to keep happening. We got to go BDIU. Gotcha. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Thank you. Have a good night.